extend up through the crown of the head, draw the shoulders away from the ears, get the head back over the neck, the shoulders over the hips, the hips over the knees, the knees over the ankles. Breathe. We let the diaphragm draw the air into the lungs. And notice the expansion as you do so. And then the softening and release of the exhale. Inhale, arms up, fingertips to the ceiling. Stretch out like you mean it. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms up. Make sure the palms are facing up by the time you get to the shoulders. Stretch up like you mean it. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Hands to prayer. Exhale, draw the prayer down. Hinge at the hips. Come forward. Release the hands wherever they get to. So if you get the legs, that's great gets to the floor that's great bend the knees if you need to inhale lengthen draw the shoulders away from the ears exhale fold inhale lengthen draw the shoulders exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale place the hands step back to plank bosh the ground away Lengthen from the crown of the head. And then draw the hands towards the feet without actually moving them. Feel the belly engage. Drop the knees if you need to. Lower yourself down. Thighs, belly, chest. Inhale. Up dog. Engage the glutes and the thighs. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, drop the knees, tuck the toes, downward dog. Breathe. So you're fogging the pads, pushing through the thumb joints. Maybe thinking about magnetising the thumbs. All of those things help the external rotation of the shoulders. Lengthen from the crown of the head, bend the knees a little bit and get a little bit of extra length through the spine. Breathe. Inhale, lift your hands and jump or step towards them. Lengthen, draw the shoulders. Exhale, fold. And then your inhale rolls up the spine. Arms up, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the prayer and release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, draw the prayer, hinge at the hips, come forward. Keep the length in the spine. Inhale, up into your fingertips or through the legs. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bend the knees, plank, bosh the ground away, and then lower yourself down. Inhale, up dog, glutes, thighs, draw the shoulders, no pinching in the lumbar. Oh no, we're not at home to pinching in the lumbar. Exhale, down with dog. Fog the pads, push through the thumb joints, magnetise the thumbs, extend. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, a little bend in the knees, lengthens that lower back a little bit more, as does a, ever such a slight internal rotation of the thighs. So maybe bring the big toes just in a little bit. Breathe. Inhale, look at the hands and gentle step towards them, lengthen, exhale, fold, inhale, roll yourself up, arms up, 
fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale. And release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, draw the crest, hinge at the hips, come forward, release the hands. Inhale, lengthen, draw the shoulders. Exhale, plank, wash the ground away, lower yourself down. Inhale, up dog, glutes and thighs. Exhale, drop the knees, down the dog. Breathe. Exhale, drop the knees, flatten the feet, and drop the bottom towards the heel for child's pose. Take a few breaths. Inhale, come up. Apply the weight through the wrists. Drop the hips if it feels okay to do so. Up dog, engage the glutes. Gaze is forward. Breathe. Exhale, drop the knees, tuck the toes, down the dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot. Back foot goes to 90. Right fingertips to the outside of the right foot. Drive the knee into the right arm. Inhale, fingertips to the ceiling. Breathe. Stretch up, power into the outside edge of the back foot. Keep driving the right thigh into the right arm. Next exhale, take the weight into the right foot and you kind of hotch yourself forward a little bit and pop your hand down underneath your shoulder, essentially. And then, oh, I'm a bit close to the table. And then extending out from the back leg. Breathe. Exhale, left hand goes down. The pelvis then goes parallel with the floor. Back foot flexed. Inhale, right fingertips up and you twist at the waist. Breathe. Exhale, the right hand down. Back foot comes down at a 45 degree angle. The toes are towards the edge of the mat. You can bring the fingertips in a little bit. You inhale, lengthen. Breathe. Keep drawing the right hip back. So you want to keep the pelvis parallel with the front of the edge of the mat. It's facing forwards. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, soften the face. You can bend the knee, flatten the hands, step yourself back into your downward dog. Avoid the table and go back a little bit. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Place the foot. Back foot goes to 90. Fingertips, left fingertips, outside of left foot. Inhale, right Fingertips up to the sky, drive the left knee in towards the left arm, stretch up, keep powering into the back foot, keep that back leg engaged, breathe. Exhale. You kind of zhuzh yourself forward, fingertips come forward to underneath the shoulder, and then right fingertips to the ceiling, stretch up, drawing the right hip up, 
Breathe, half moon pose. Exhale, right hand goes down. Flex the back foot, pelvis parallel with the floor. Your inhale then. Brings the left arm up, you twist at the waist. And I advise not doing this with a table right by your head. Pop the back foot down at a 45 degree angle. Bring the fingertips in a little bit. Inhale, lengthen. Keep drawing that left hip back. Draw the shoulders back. Breathe. Pop the hands down. Step the left foot back. Downward dog. Inhale, drop to your knees and flatten the feet. And then you can kind of take the shoulders over the wrists, bend the arms and do box yourself up and then back down again. Do Once more. Do beautiful. Okay, right foot forward. Just check. Right knees over right ankle. And then you bosh down. So boshing down through the foot, bosh down through the shin, the top of the back foot. And then you want a nice straight line, knee, hip, shoulder. Okay. We're going to inhale the left arm up, stretching up like you mean it. And then you can exhale the right hand. You're going to push the wall away with the right hand. And then you can hold a tray with your left hand. So I'm drawing my right fingertips towards me. My shoulders are staying out of it. Relax the shoulders. Keep holding the tray. Inhale, and we're going to exhale over to the right. Keep pushing down through the right foot and the left shin. Try not to drop the stuff on your tray, which is quite hard. Inhale, come back to centre. Release the arms. Maybe give them a little judge. Okay. Inhale, left arm up again. Exhale, take the elbow on the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Let's exhale. So the inhale's up. Woo, and then the exhale, elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Try not to move the right leg at all. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. So this time, as you come down, as long as your elbow gets there, you can tuck it to the outside of the thigh and tuck your toes under on the back foot. You bring yourself to prayer, your hands to prayer, so your right elbow comes upwards. Inhale, the exhale sends the heel away. So, lengthening through that back leg, I'm sending my heel away, extending from the crown of the head, shoulders are relaxed, jaw soft. Breathe. Exhale, drop the back knee, place the hands and step yourself back into your downward dog. Breathe. Lengthen, lengthen and breathe. Inhale, drop the knees and you can bend the arms and Bosh yourself back up into your high kneel. Left foot forward. Knee over ankle. Bosh the ground down with the shin, the foot. 
and then you can inhale, right arm up, stretch up like you mean it. Exhale, push the wall away. And then next exhale, hold the tray. Draw the fingers, so relax the shoulders, draw the fingers towards you. Keep holding your tray. Inhale, next exhale, keep pushing down through the shin and the foot and you can just tilt yourself over to the left. Keep holding the tray. Inhale, come back to centre and release. Give him a little shake. Inhale, right arm up. Ooh. Exhale, elbow to the outside of that thigh. Don't move the left leg if you can avoid it. Ooh. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. I've lost count. Exhale. I think next time. So inhale. And then this time, as you come over, as long as you get there, you can then take your hands to prayer, tuck the toes under on the back foot, and bosh that back leg away. So, extending from the crown of the head, twisting from the waist, sending the heel away. Take the hands down, step yourself back into your downward dog. Next exhale, turn the left foot to 45 and step the right foot in between the hands. And then you can inhale, take the arms up. Breathe. Exhale, hands back down, step the right foot back. Breathe. Next, exhale, right foot to 45, step the left foot forward. Inhale, all the way up. Breathe. Power into that back leg, that back foot. Exhale, lie down, step the left foot back. Inhale, look at your hands and jump a step towards them, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling all the way up. Ooh. Exhale. Draw the prayer and release. Inhale. Exhale. Step the left foot back and then parallel the feet. So we've got a nice wide stance. Feet parallel. The giant's got the plunger on the top of my head. He's lengthening up. So lots of space, neck, vertebrae. Yada, yada. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale, take the hands to the waist. Inhale, lengthen from the crown of the head, draw the shoulders. Okay, exhale. Next, inhale, you draw the elbows towards each other and the shoulders towards each other. And then exhale, hinge of the hips, come forward. Keep the length, keep the length, all the way down, just keeping the length, particularly in that lower back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. When you get as far as you can go, drop the head. 
Squeeze the elbows together. Keep squeezing the elbows together. Breathe. Release the hands up onto your fingertips and lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, left hand to the middle. Inhale, right arm up. Palm faces out and you keep your arm in line with your shoulder. Exhale, it comes down, hands swap over. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale down, swap hands. Inhale, exhale down, swap hands, inhale, exhale down and this time take your left hand to your ankle, inhale, right arm up, exhale down, take the right hand to the left ankle, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, in. Exhale, back to centre. Inhale, up into your fingertips. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to waist. Draw the shoulders and then engage your glutes and everything and come up. With a nice straight back. Ooh. Okay, heels in. Extend up from the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. So, external rotation of your thighs. Glutes engaged. Want to make them work harder? Round the knees out. So to your maximum extent, Send the knees out that way. Feel how much harder you work when you actively do a pose. Inhale, hands to cactus, breathe. Keep sending the knees out. Inhale. Exhale, twist at the waist, turn to the right. Try and keep the legs as still as possible. Keep driving the knees out. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, go the other way. Inhale, centre. Exhale, right. Inhale, centre. Keep the knees going out. Exhale. Inhale. Release the hands. And then you can push yourself back up. Enjoy the burn, people. Enjoy the burn. Okay. A balance. So, get your posture right and be balanced. Check your feet. Broaden them. Feel them. Zhuzhi them. Elephant. So you zhuzh you down and then you get a back up. Really useful to, um, so the giant and the plunger thing, super useful I find. So you've got a nice friendly giant, colourful, doesn't, the beard doesn't have to be colourful, but there's a beard. Oh, my giant's got a nice bow. Um, one of my students gives the plunger a colour, which is quite nice, a bit of glitter maybe. But essentially you're getting that. <laughs> Other people do an imaginary thread. I prefer the giant. Okay, and then a fixed gaze on something. So this, this set of balances, there's two options. One option is to do it with the leg bent. So the next two postures you can do like this with the leg bent. I'm gonna do it holding my big toe. So index finger, middle finger, bend the leg up. Hold your big toe, left hand on hip, inhale, lengthen, exhale, extend the leg and breathe. So I'm sucking my hip in this way as much as I can. 
Exhale, you take the leg out to the right and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, release the hands, hands on hips, draw the shoulders, draw the toes, extend the leg out and breathe. And you can exhale, bring the leg up into tree and inhale the arms up. Stretch up right through the knees. Giant's got the plunger. Trying to keep the pelvis so it faces forward. So the kind of angle at the knee depends on how far your hips are prepared to go at the moment. It'll change. Everything does. Draw the prayer down and then take the left hand over the top of the right foot so you're holding the outside edge of the right foot. As you exhale, extend the right leg out and extend the right arm behind you and then if you can, take the gaze behind you. Breathe and release. That's strong on that standing leg. Right, got to do the other side now. So, giant, plunger, elephant, feet. <sighs> Breathe, get your fixed point. Lift the left leg up. So if you wanna, if you're doing it with the leg bent, it's this and this. If you're taking the toes, take the toes, take the toe, take the toe. Right hand to the hip, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Ooh. extend and breathe. into the belly, soften the face. Exhale, taking the leg round to the left. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back. And then hands to hips, draw the elbows, draw the toes, extend up through the crown of the head, relax the shoulders, soften the face, breathe. Bend the knee, you can pop the foot on the thigh or, or the shin, you just, it's probably best to avoid the knee because the knee you then push the knee joint out weirdly in that direction. And then you can inhale, arms up, stretch up like you need it. Breathe. Maybe smile. Smiling's good. Smiling does good things, it releases good shit. Enjoy it. Exhale, draw the prayer down and then right hand goes over the top of the left foot and you clasp the outside edge. As you exhale, you extend the leg out. Left hand extends out behind you and then you turn to look behind you. The key to moving is to just change your fixed point. So I went horse pictures, cupboard, mirror, curtains, which keeps the balance for you. And then release. Bit of a shake out and then come back to the front of your mat. Okay, inhale, arms up, stretch up like you mean it. Exhale, draw the prayer, hinge at the hips, come forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plank and lower yourself down. Inhale, 
up dog. Exhale, drop the knees, tuck the toes, down the dog. Have a little swing in your downward dog. You could cuddle the feet. You can have a little spinal segmentation, waving up and down the spine. Movement and space. Yeah, get those joints moving. Okay. And then you can inhale, look at your hands, take your right knee, to your right wrist and your left knee to your left wrist. Sit yourself down. Ta -da! Okay. Navasana. But we're going to do Navasana with a little bit of a difference. So, hands to knees, extend up through the crown of the head, relax the shoulders. Exhale, torso back. So hang out here, if, if this is where you're at, this is great, you can feel your belly working, you can hang out there. The important thing is keeping this back straight. Okay, so what you can do if you're happy there, is you can bring the legs up to tabletop and take the hands underneath the knees. And we're going to tap the right foot down and then swap over. Relieves boredom in the Vasna. The other thing that relieves boredom in Navasana, which is quite nice, is driving the big toes together. Makes the arches work. And you can pop your feet down. And we're going to roll. Blop. <sighs> Quite humid down the spine. Okay. Inhale, arms up, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, turn the palms so they face each other, sink the shoulder blades. Inhale, take the arms up.